Hi guys, in today's video, I'm sharing all about eBay auctions and the three main reasons why I decide to place an item on an auction. And I'll share several um, examples along the way. I really hope this video is beneficial to you. My name is Celeste, by the way. I've been reselling on eBay for almost four years. In my channel, I like to share some thrift hauls, things that I find to resell on eBay, but also eBay tips and things that I've learned along the way. So keep in mind that these are things that work for me um, and I'm constantly changing the way I run my business so things that I might be doing now I might tweak later in the future um, because I'm constantly trying to make my business better so if you do like my content and you want to hear more about me make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos before I get started, I do want to say that listing items at an auction is pretty risky. It's a risky move, but I'm here to give you some tips so that your next auction is pretty successful, okay? Um, know that they could sell pretty low because there are other factors that you don't have control over now, um, but I will help you focus on the things that you can control to get you the most money for your item. There are several factors that you need to think about when you're listing an item through an auction. And one of the factors is the season, the item that you have in the season. Of course, people are shopping more for in-season items. So if it's spring, summer, people are shopping for shorts, tanks, and dresses, as opposed to jackets and sweaters. So keep that in mind when you're, I wouldn't necessarily list a jacket um during through an auction during summer spring because main, there's not going to be much competition and same thing goes for like winter like short i wouldn't list like shorts and dresses during that time because it might not sell for that much there's not going to be a high demand for it okay so keep that in mind unless you really want to get rid of your item then you know go for it but keep that in mind it's not it's probably not going to sell for that much if you list it out of season the very first reason why i decide to list an item through an auction is because i've had this item for a long time when i say a long time i mean like months maybe a year um i've seen this item for too long i've had it too too long in my store and i'm ready to get rid of it um to make more room for more inventory and a lot of the times with these type of items, I take it as a loss. Um, I've made a bad mistake. You know, I'm just trying to sell it. I'm just trying to clear it out of my store. It didn't sell for the amount that I had listed a lot of the times for a buy it now. So I will end it and I will relist it as a um, auction. A lot of the times I do try to do like $9.99 first, sell it for $9.99. If it doesn't sell, then I'll, I will keep lowering it. Um, if I'm really tired of an item that I will just list it for 99 cents, a starting price of 99 cents. And keeping in mind that it could sell for 99 cents, which at this point, I really don't care. I just really want to get rid of an item. So that's my first strategy to get rid of items. And I think you just have to know that when you're running a business, when you're selling things, you just have to know that you're going to make mistakes, that you're going to make um, some pretty bad decisions. And um, I think when I realized that in my business and when I stopped being stubborn with the price that I wanted for my item is when I started making more sales. And um, so being realistic is important. My first example is this soft surroundings top that I've had for so long. I had it listed for like $20, buy it now, and it just wouldn't sell. So I ended the auction. I listed it for $9.99 for two weeks, for a week, and then it didn't sell. Then I tried it another week and it didn't sell. So I lowered it to $4.99 and somebody finally bid $4.99. I got it out the door and it finally sold. So that's an example of an item that I really didn't care how much i got for it um i called it a loss and i really just wanted to get rid of it so that's an example another example are these diesel jeans that i also had i think i had them listed for about 30 dollars and they didn't sell um the pictures were pretty bad though so i did uh, take down the listing and i started a new listing with new pictures and um, I listed it starting auction price for 99 cents and it sold for 15.50. So that was, um, that was great that I did that. I wanted to get rid of it and I got more money than I thought I would. Here's another example. This, this is an intimately free people top that I had. I had it for several months and this is one 
of the items that I had for several months. I knew it could sell. Um, I knew I can get at least $20 for. So this is when I started the auction. That's the reason why I started the auction for $19.99. Um, and it ended up selling for $20.50. Again, I really wanted to get rid of it. Um, I knew it could sell. I knew somebody wanted it. It's just uh, maybe I had priced it too high. And I really didn't mind just getting $20 for it, $20.50 for it. Um, I know that some have sold for more, but I really just wanted my money at that point. And so that's something I do want to talk about, the fact that you don't necessarily need need to list auctions starting at 99 cents you could choose your um starting price um whatever you're comfortable with and um and see how it goes from there okay a lot of the times it's trial and error and um some items do better than others so another reason why i decide to list an item through an auction is because it has a flaw okay and I do want to say that I've talked about this strategy several times and I talk about it in my previous videos but I do want to emphasize the fact that I don't pick up just any items okay when I do say items with flaws I only pick them up if I know that they're you know popular brands popular styles and have a great sell through rate okay so if I pick up one of these if I find one of these items and I know it's a great style and has a great sell through rate by the way if you don't um, know what a sell through rate is my previous video that I did and that talks about sell through rate and how to calculate it and um, so you can watch it I'll link it in the description you want to watch that because um, that's important okay you don't want to pick up any items item to list with the flaw because it's not going to do well but you want to be strategic with these items okay so i'll give you several examples i was thrifting ones and i found this spell in the gypsy dress i was excited but it had a hole on the bottom back area it was only a dollar though and so i knew it was a great brand i knew it was a great um it had a great sell through rate so i still decided to pick it up i couldn't decide how to place it for sale i could have done a low buy it now price i could have done a high um auction starting price auction or i i could have just started at 99 cents and being the risk taker that i am i decided to do that i decided to start it off at 99 cents thinking what the heck like um i have nothing to lose i got it for a dollar it's a great item and it, it has a flaw so the reason why i decided to start it off at 90 with the 99 starting auction was because you know i felt that if i wanted to start it at a higher 49 maybe a 49.99 starting auction i knew that i'd get um less views on it and i knew the fact that when a lot of people um search for items they will filter their search um from lowest price to highest price and i felt like starting it at 99 cents was going to give me the most eyes on my item and that can potentially cause like a competition um and i was right it ended up selling for 127 dollars and 50 cents which is amazing um but and i i don't know what would have happened if i would have started it off at like a 49 dollar um auction I don't know, maybe it would have sold for $49, maybe it would have sold for less, I don't know. All I knew is that, and I will never know, but all I knew was that it was a popular item, high sell through rate, I think it was a perfect candidate for this auction. Another um, item that I recently sold and I decided to also place at an auction um, was a lot of three Nike shorts. These shorts were actually my husband's. So um, he just gave them to me to sell them and they had some flaws. They had like some spots and they weren't perfect. The lining was cut off. And so I decided what the heck, I'm just going to put it up at an auction. I did start them at $14.99 and I was surprised that they sold for um, $74 and and so that was nice. So I hope these examples helped you, um, but there's really no right or wrong way to go about auctions. So the last reason why I decide, the third reason why I decide um, to list an item at an auction is because I want to sell a popular item fast. Okay. I can definitely choose to price a popular item as a buy it now and somebody can buy it quickly but it's, there's no fun in that okay so um for me i love the fact that i could potentially get more money than i thought i would and so that's why sometimes i risk and i listen 
item a little bit lower than it's going for to see that maybe people do want it for more um, but i always started at a price that i'm comfortable with um if it ends up selling for that much that i'm comfortable getting okay and so um i do these popular items are like items that the sell-through rate is like more than 50 percent um even maybe more than 100 percent there are more items that are um sold than listed so that um, these are the popular items. Again, if you don't know about sell-through rate, go to my previous video that I talk about sell-through rate and how to calculate it, and I will link it in the description, okay? I will give you some examples of some of the items that I recently have sold. One of them, were some free people movement leggings um this one had a i put it up on a, on an auction for two reasons they were missing a drawstring and um they did have some wear but i knew it was a popular style and so i knew it could potentially do well i felt guilty putting it as a buy it now because you know it wasn't in great condition but felt like somebody if they really wanted it for a cheaper price can get it for a cheaper price so i did decide to list these for a starting auction price of 39.99 that's the least i was willing to get for these um and so it did they ended up selling for 55 dollars. so somebody really did want them and if you look at like sold comparables of these of these leggings then you'll see that they're selling for way more so this customer was happy and i was happy happy to sell an item with like some flaws with some flaws for a pretty great amount and then the other um item that i also did this for was a cabbie tee um a cabbie top that when i looked up the style number there weren't any for sale and there were many sold and so i knew that potentially somebody wanted it but you know there weren't any for sale and so um, I took that to my advantage and I started, I can't remember what the starting price was. I think it was $14.99 and I was willing to take that and it ended up selling for $51. Um, I would have never listed that item for $51 by it now. And so that was a great win for me. The fact that, you know, it sold for more than I would have listed it by it now. So that's all I have for you. I really hope these tips and examples have helped you understand um you know what can make a successful ebay auction wish you the best of luck with your future auctions let me know um in the comments if you have any comments or any questions about auctions i will definitely help you with the best of my abilities i would also love to know how your if you took any of my tips and how your auctions ended thank you so much guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos bye bye